The Stug III, or Sturmgeschutz, meaning assault gun, was a self-propelled gun platform based on the Panzer III chassis. It saw combat throughout World War II and was one of Germany's most produced armoured vehicles of the war. Its later variants combined a well-armoured hull with a powerful anti-tank weapon that could fill a wide range of roles. The Stug III was easy and cheap to produce, and a reliable weapon that was liked by its crews. Early variants of the Stug were armed with the 75mm KWK 37L24, a short-barreled howitzer designed to support infantry and engage enemy emplacements. But when loaded with heat shells, the gun could be used against armour. The Alsf A, the first variant in War Thunder, was based on the Panzer III F chassis, with a casemate placed on top. The casemate had 50mm of frontal armour, 30mm on the sides and rear, and 16mm on the roof. The power plant remained virtually the same for all Stug variants, the 300 horsepower Maybach HL120 TRM. From the Alsf F onwards, the Stug's armament was improved to a 75mm long barreled high velocity anti tank gun, a response to the need for an increase in firepower to counter the well armoured T 34 and KV 1 tanks. The Alsf F is armed with a 75mm Pac 40 L43, vastly superior to the KWK 37 in terms of armour penetration. It had much higher muzzle velocity, allowing maximum penetration of over 100mm, and a flat trajectory that made aiming easier, especially at long ranges. Aside from the new cannon and an exhaust fan in the roof to improve ventilation, the Asfeff is much the same as previous versions. Next is Eak Panzer IV, an assault gun based on the Panzer IV chassis. The larger chassis meant more weight could be added, resulting in thick armour and larger weaponry than the Stug III could mount. Early models were armed with a Pac-40 L48, mounted in a unique casemate and hull on top of a Panzer IV chassis. The casemate and glasses were well-sloped 60mm armour plates, offering good protection. Later models were upgunned with the KWK 42 L70, the same cannon mounted on the Panther medium tank. The hull and glasses were recast with 80mm of armour, and 8mm thick shirts and armour skirts were often added to later models. An alternate model, the A, or Alket, was a stopgap measure to mount the Jagdpanzer casemate onto the Panzer IV hull. It was taller than the V, or Vomag, and had an area of flat armour at the bottom of the casemate, but otherwise was identical. The Jagdpanzer IV Alcat appears in game as a premium tank. At first, the Jagdpanzer IV used a muzzle brake, but it was found that the barrel was so close to the ground that the gases vented by the muzzle brake would kick up a great deal of dust and debris, potentially compromising the vehicle's position. The Jagdpanzer is a heavy tank destroyer based on the Panther Alsf G chassis. The turret has been replaced by a single-piece casemate with 18mm of frontal armour, and the armament is the 88mm Pac 43 L71, the same cannon the Tiger II is fitted with. With a powerful engine, smooth torsion bar suspension, sloped armour, and a powerful main gun, the Jagdpanther made a formidable tank destroyer, and had a very high kill-to-death ratio. The Jagdpanther in-game is a late model, the G2. It has a single driver viewport and a mantlet bolted on from the outside. The earlier G1 had twin driver viewports and a mantlet bolted on from the inside. The Jagdpanther's crew compartment was spacious, allowing the vehicle and its cannon to be operated with ease. The Ferdinand is a heavy tank destroyer based on the chassis of Porsche's Tiger prototype, commonly known as the Tiger P. Less than a hundred were built, but the thick armour and powerful gun made it a devastating weapon, although its lack of anti-infantry defence left it very vulnerable in close quarters. Armour plates were bolted onto the hull, making it 200mm thick. The front of the casemate was also 200mm, making it impenetrable to all anti-tank weapons of the time. Compared to the Jagdpanther, it's better protected but far less agile, making it more vulnerable to flanking attacks. Finally, the Yak Tiger. The Yak Tiger was based on the Tiger II chassis. It was one of the heaviest vehicles of the war, weighing in at just under 72 tons. The casemate was protected by 250mm of armour, and the hull was the same heavily sloped 150mm thick glasses from the Tiger II. The Yak Tiger was armed with a 128mm Pac 44 L55, an immensely powerful weapon that fired a huge shell. Penetration was overall superior to the Pac 43, particularly at ranges over 1800 metres. Its size and weight created mechanical and reliability problems, and it was a prime target for air attack. Its weight meant it could only cross larger, stronger bridges, and it was prone to becoming bogged down. However, it was the best protected and most powerfully armed production vehicle of World War II. Its 250mm thick casemate was untouchable and its cannon could knock out an IS-2 from 1500 metres away. However, not enough were produced to have any impact on the war. So, that's all the German tank destroyers currently in War Thunder. Thank you very much for watching, this has been Reach for the Sky. See you soon.